Okay, so in this one they ask us to simplify to single trig ratio. So it's not the same as proving an identity, but actually it is. Why? Because here we have a complex thing that is going to simplify to a single trig ratio, which is going to be a simple thing, so it is the same actually. Okay, so why not just treat it the same with pass, cas, and das? Okay, so positive, acute, and simple. Change everything into cos and sine, and finally do algebraic simplification. Okay, now it it really really is that simple. So let's see. First of all, change everything positive, acute, and simple. Now that means we're going to need our cos diagram. And whoa, that's a skew line. Line. So let's try it again. There we have our cost diagram, very, very important. Okay, so here we have 90 degrees to uh, 118 degrees minus and plus to 70 degrees minus and plus. 90 was minus and plus on that side. Um, sorry, that's plus, that's minus. Okay, and cause this is 360 degrees minus and plus negative angles okay let's add the negatives as well so we've got negative 90 degrees this is still plus and minus um, negative 180 degrees still plus still minus and then negative 90 degrees okay this is zero degrees as well or 360 degrees negative 360 degrees okay so what we have here is negative w so it's like having zero minus angle W. So there's zero, minus is in this direction, so c where cos is um, positive, the rest is negative. But we have sine squared here, nevertheless I'll put it in. But one thing you can just relax on is that if there's a square, then this sine squared of this thing, the sine is not really going to matter because it's multiplying itself, so it will always be positive. But uh, let's, let's do the sine just to just to not confuse you okay so uh, to make this positive we have to include the negative outside okay because in the fourth quadrant only cos is positive so sine will come out as a negative answer however the whole thing is still squared that's what that means the whole thing is being squared so that negative is going to vanish shortly how about this is now one either minus depends on what comes out here now Many of my students think that cos is negative because there's a negative in front here. No, 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 no. N cos is being subtracted. But if cos comes out to be negative, we'll subtract a negative number, which means it's going to be a positive number. Okay? So it still depends what is going to happen here. Negative 180 minus, so negative 180 minus is in the second quadrant. So we're in the second quadrant where sine is positive and therefore cos is negative. Now people would go and write down negative cos of W and they say but there's the negative for the cos. No, that's the negative for the sum. The cos is negative is still there. It should be negative cos so that when they multiply they actually become a positive and I, I, I don't want to put in too many steps. So the negative that comes out from here multiplies that negative and becomes a positive. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so in our next step, let's simplify. Okay, so let's say I want to go and uh, simplify this. Here in the numerator, I see I'm going to get sine squared w. And in the denominator, I've got 1 plus cos w. Now, can't I change that one maybe? So let's change that one into 1 minus cos squared w and again that negative was squared so it's gone it's not influencing anything negative times negative is positive so okay so I'm changing that into 1 cos w and this one into 1 plus cos squared w and you notice why I did that because this can factorize into two brackets okay so I can get 1 plus cos squared w, uh, sorry there's no square there, okay, and 1 minus, and there's no square there, 1 minus cos w over 1 plus cos w, and you see why I did that, because now everything in the denominator can cancel with one of the factors in the numerator, to give me 
that over here I only have a one left in the denominator so what happens is I've got one minus and here in the bracket we've got one minus cos w and now that negative can be multiplied in it's actually a negative one multiplied in so it's one minus one which is zero negative times negative one oh, the negative one here times the negative one in front of the cos becomes positive one so my final answer is cos of w and I must admit this is what what I love about trig is that we can make a complex expression like this that's really complex equal to a simple ratio such as that okay see you in the next one